Toodle by Gertrude Crampton. Far, far to the west of everywhere is the village of Lower Trainswitch, and all the baby locomotives there learn to be big locomotives. The young locomotives steam up and down the tracks, trying to call out the long, sad toot hoot of the big locomotives, but the best they could do is a gay little tootle. Lower Trainswitch has a fine school for engines, and there are lessons in whistle-blowing, stopping for a red flag waving, puffing loudly when starting, coming around curves safely, screeching when stopping, and clicking and clacking over the rails. Of the things that are taught in Lower Train Switch School for Locomotives, the most important is, of course, staying on the rails, no matter what. And the head of the school is an old engineer named Bill. Now Bill always tells the new locomotives that he will not be angry if they sometimes spill the soup pulling the diner, or if they turn the milk to butter now and again. But they will never, never be good trains unless they get 100% A-plus in staying on the rails no matter what. All the baby engines work very hard to get 100% pay plus in staying on the rails. After a few weeks, not one of the engines in Lower Train Switch School for Trains would even think of getting off the rails no matter, well, no matter what. One day, a new locomotive named Toodle came to school. Now here is the finest baby I've seen since old 600, thought Bill, and he patted the gleaming young locomotive and said, How would you like to grow up to be the flyer between New York and Chicago? Well, if a flyer goes very fast, I should like to be one, Toodle answered. I love to go fast. Just watch me. He raced all around the roundhouse. Good, good, said Bill. You must study whistleblowing, puffing loudly when starting, stopping for a red flag waving, and pulling the diner without spilling soup. But most of all, you must study staying on the rails no matter what. Remember, you can't be a flyer unless you get 100% A-plus in staying on the rails no matter what. So Toodle promised that he would remember and that he would work very hard. And he did, too. He even worked hard at stopping for a red flag waving. Toodle did not like those lessons at all. There is nothing a locomotive hates more than stopping. But Bill said that no locomotive ever, ever kept going when he saw a red flag waving. So one day, while Toodle was practicing for his lesson and staying on the rails no matter what, a dreadful thing happened. He looked across the meadow he was running through and saw a fine, strong black horse. Race you to the river, shouted the black horse, and kicked up his heels, and away went the horse. His black tail streamed out behind him, and his mane tossed in the wind. Oh, how he could run! Here I go, said Toodle to himself. If I'm going to be a flyer, I can't let a horse beat me, he puffed. Everyone at school will laugh at me. His wheels turned so fast that they were silver streaks. The cars lurched and bumped together, and just as Toodle was sure he would win, the tracks made a great curve. Oh, whistle, cried Toodle. That horse will beat me now. He'll run straight while I take the great curve. And then the dreadful thing happened. After all that Bill had said about staying on the rails no matter what, Toodle jumped off the tracks and raced alongside the black horse. Now the race ended in a tie, and both Toodle and the black horse were very happy, and they stood on the bank of the river and talked. It's nice here in the meadow, Toodle thought. And when Toodle got back to school, he said nothing about leaving the rails, but he thought about it that night in the roundhouse. Tomorrow, I will work hard, decided Toodle. I will not even think of leaving the rails, no matter what. And he did work very hard. He practiced tootling so much that the mayor himself ran up the hill in his green coattails flapping and said that everyone in the village had had a headache and would he please stop tootling. So Toodle was sent to practice staying on the rails, no matter what. And as he came to the great curve, Toodle looked across the meadow, and it was full of buttercups. It's like a big yellow carpet. How, how I should like to play in them and hold one under my searchlight to see if I like butter, thought Toodle. But no, I'm going to, going to become a flyer, and I must practice staying on the rails no matter what. Toodle clicked and clacked around the great curve, and his wheels began to say over and over again, Do you like butter? Do you? I don't know, Toodle said crossly, but I'm going to find out. So he stopped much faster than any good flyer ever does, unless he's stopping for a red flag waving. And he hopped off the tracks and bumped along the meadow to the yellow buttercups. What fun, said Toodle as he danced around and around and held one of the buttercups under his searchlight. I do like butter, cried Toodle. I do. At last the sun began to go down and it was time to hurry to the roundhouse. 
Now that evening, while the chief oiler was playing checkers with old Bill, he said, It's queer. It's very queer. I found grass between Tootle's front wheels today. Hmm, said Bill. There must be grass growing on the tracks. Oh, not on our tracks, said the day watchman, who spent his days watching the tracks, and his nights watching Bill and the chief oiler play checkers. Bill's face was stern. Tootle knows he must get 100% A-plus in staying on the rails no matter what, if he's going to be a flyer. So the next day, Tootle played all day in the meadow, and he watched a green frog and made a daisy chain to wear. And as the sun went down, he ran back to the rain barrel for one more toot toot before he went home. That night, the first assistant oiler said he had found a daisy in Tootle's bell. The day after that, the second assistant oiler said that he had found hollyhock flowers floating in Tootle's eight bowls of soup. And then the mayor himself said that he had seen Tootle chasing butterflies in the meadow. The mayor himself said that Tootle had looked very silly. Early one morning, Bill had had a long, long talk with the mayor himself, and when the mayor himself left the lower train switch school for locomotives, he laughed all the way to the village. Bill's plan will surely put Tootle back on track, he chuckled. Bill ran from one store to the next, buying every ten yards of this and twenty yards of that and all you have of the other. Now the chief oiler and the first and second and third assistant oilers were hammering and sawing instead of oiling and polishing. And Tootle? Well, Tootle was in the meadow, watching the butterflies flying and wishing he could dip and soar as they did. Not a store in Lower Train Switch was open the next day, and not a person was at home. By the time the sun came up, every villager was hiding in the meadow along the tracks, and each of them had a red flag. It had taken all the red goods in Lower Train Switch and hard work by the oilers, but there was a red flag for everyone. Soon Tootle came tootling happily down the tracks, and when he came to the meadows, he hopped off the tracks and rolled along the grass. And just as he was thinking of what a beautiful day it was, a red flag poked up from the grass and waved hard. Tootle stopped, for every locomotive knows he must stop for a red flag waving. I guess I'll go another way, said Tootle. He turned to the left, and up came another waving red flag, and this time from the middle of the buttercups. When he went to the right, there was another red flag. There were red flags waving from the buttercups and the daisies under the tree near the bluebird's nest and even one behind the rain barrel. And, of course, Tootle had to stop for every one, for a locomotive must always stop for a red flag waving. Red flags, muttered Tootle. This meadow is full of red flags. Whenever I start, I have to stop. Why did I think this meadow was such a fine place? Why don't I ever see a green flag? And just as the tears were ready to slide out of his boiler, Tootle happened to look back over his coal car, and on the track stood Bill, and in his hand was a big green flag. Oh, said Tootle, and he puffed up to Bill and stopped. This is the place for me, said Tootle. There is nothing but red flags for locomotives that get off their tracks. Hooray, shouted the people of Lower Train Switch, and jumped up from their hiding places. Hooray for Tootle the Flyer! Soon Tootle grew up, and now he is the famous two-mile-a-minute flyer, and all the young locomotives listen to his advice. Work hard, he tells them. Always remember to stop for a red flag waving. But most of all, stay on the rails, no matter what. The End